Hello everyone, this is Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric, and Texas Stingray Media Day recently happened, and I was able to ride the ride, so I'm going to review it right now. This is my Texas Stingray review, a bit of background, I've not been on many GCIs, like actually, I don't think I've really been on, yeah, I have not been on many GCIs, but this one seemed really good, I think it could technically be the best SeaWorld Parks ride besides Mako for now. And most likely Iron Gwazi when it comes out. But it's a good roller coaster. I wish I could get on more of these GCIs. I've been on Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm, which is technically Custom Coasters International. And that's one of my favorite rides ever. This one doesn't quite live up to that, but let's see how I feel about the ride overall. And quick note, this is definitely the best ride at SeaWorld San Antonio. For different reviews, I give the airtime a 9 out of 10. This is a very airtime-packed ride. I do enjoy airtime over intensity normally, so that's why it is an important aspect. The intensity I'd give an 8 out of 10, it's not a super intense ride, but it's fast paced enough that it feels pretty good, kind of like Wicked Cyclone. Pacing, I give a 9 out of 10. The beginning has a few minor issues, but it's just really awesome after that. The first drop will get an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's not great like Ghost Rider, but... It does take you out of your seat for a little bit. The comfort, which will be like the smoothness of the ride and the restraints. There's no seat belts, just a lap bar, so that's going to be a 10 out of 10. The duration will get an 8 out of 10. It's a decently long wooden coaster. Not super long, but decent. And the layout, I give an 8 overall because it is pretty good, at least in the second half. The first half is just some large elements that aren't all that great, but that's really the only complaint I have with the ride. Overall, I give this ride a 9 out of 10. It is the best GCI that I know of so far. I know people like Mystic Timbers and all that, but this one for now I think stands a pretty good chance against them. And that's my final review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment your thoughts on the ride down below, and subscribe for more content.